Hi. When I placed my first video on the subject of retirement on YouTube, I had no idea it would prove to be so popular. Because for the previous six and a half years, I've been placing videos on all manner of subjects and had got maybe 3,000 views and perhaps 30, 35 subscribers. And then, as I said, 10 months ago, I started placing videos on retirement on YouTube. And I've been astounded at the response. I had no idea they'd be so popular. And of late, I've been getting more videos, more hits, more comments on one video than all the others put together in the previous six and a half years prior to talking about retirement. But what have I learned? What have I learned in doing these? For a long while I thought, I'm going to run out of material. What am I going to talk about? How much do I really know about retirement? And then I realised, well, perhaps there's no limit. Who really knows how much we know about anything? Once we put a barrier around it, our paradigm of how we look at the world, then of course we quickly fill out to the borders of that paradigm. But reading through the responses, the hundreds of responses now, possibly thousands of responses, of different people, different viewpoints, I can see that there's a vast variety of interpretations about what retirement means. Some are very pessimistic, others optimistic. Others sort of think, well, maybe I'll enjoy it. So what have I got to say to you, which I think might help you further? As I've said before in these videos, I'm coming up now to 29 years retired. So my retirement is based on experience. Now my experience is not your experience. You have you've had your own life, your own history, and it could be very, very different to mine. A lot of it will be the same. Humdrub of work that you didn't like, perhaps commuting to work. Bosses that gave you a hard time. This is the, uh, what you might call life. This is what it's like. Then you get towards retirement and you think, well, what am I going to do now? And of course, this is a question we all ask ourselves. Once the so-called honeymoon period of retirement is over, the gloss has worn off and it doesn't take long. Maybe you've been on a holiday or two and you come back and you're at home. What now? What am I going to do with the years ahead? And this is where you could become very depressed, very downhearted, as though life leads nowhere. You're just waiting in God's waiting room for the next big step where you fall off the peg. <laughs> And if, of course, you have no spiritual beliefs and you think the, the end of your physical body is the end of your life, well, it can get pretty drab as you get old and sick. So what's going to keep you motivated? What's kept me motivated? Certainly a philosophy of life. I'm a full believer in the hereafter and a lot of other things as well, which I know a lot of people don't believe. But I'm not going to belabor that. What I'm going to say is this. You have the chance to be a lifelong learner. And that's what I think I've become. A lifelong learner. Learning things all the time. But when you learn things all the time, you start building things up inside you which have to be told. So my motto is, I learn and I teach. 
I don't just talk about retirement. I had a class one time called Your Search for Happiness, Body, Mind and Spirit. And that went for eight years. I taught a class for eight years with that subject. I'm not saying that you should do that sort of thing. But there will be something you will know about. You've already been a lifelong learner, whether you realise it or not, up until this time. What do you know? Does what you know really grab you? Is some area or niche in your life which can't be filled by anyone else because you've had your own unique experiences and the way you've interpreted those experiences. Keep on learning and find somewhere where you can divulge what you've learned to other people. It's very satisfying and it gives you a purpose. You learn and you teach. The wisdom that you've gained, and everyone gains wisdom whether they realise it or not, so don't be cynical about it. You're not the person you were when you were 20. You know a hell of a lot more. You've learned a lot more. It's become ingrained into you. Now's the time to teach what you've learned to other people. There are lots and lots of people waiting upon what you can do for them. And when you do it for them, you really do it for yourself as well. Because it gives you that motivation, that impetus to keep on keeping on. So my advice to, is this. Find out what you really love to do. Teach other people about it. And if you do, I think, you're setting yourself up for a very motivational, enjoyable, and maybe even a very long time in retirement. <laughs>